Some call a doctor because bad medicine is back. You've got Diamond Dave Damone. I'm Mason Quinn. Guys, we said we were going to follow up on it. And here we go. Fear the Walking Dead, Season 7, Episode 10. And the lo lovely, wonderful people in our comments were very opinionated very. on the opener. And I got to say, I pretty much agreed with them. Guys, let's hope it picks up from here. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's not leave out the hint. There was a small handful of you that actually enjoyed the episode, which bravo to you. Yep. I just wish, we do wish we could have gotten into it. it. just wasn't for us. And I am hoping, really hoping, that this episode is a notch up. With that said, let's go! All right, All right here, here we go, Dave. Let's see what they're going to throw at us on this one. <clears throat> Maybe he wants me to join them. Not today. Have a seat. Yeah. Yeah. Are you thinking what I'm thinking already? That this guy's done for? That this guy's done for. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyone else think of that right now? Let us know in the comments. How old are you, Ollie? 15. And you really think you're ready to be a ranger? Yes, sir. I admire your ambition. I mean, kids, post-apocalyptic world would grow up faster we saw yeah. carl this is the morning cloak and victor has got the perfect spot for it on the shelf he's sending him out catching butterflies i just don't know how collecting these proves i can be one of his rangers it's about how you see the world show victor what you're capable of that you can be something greater be something greater by going and getting a butterfly <laughs> but it makes no sense to me how is the butterfly it's it's just something I think for him to do to see if he's truly loyal to Victor. Well, I He'll get do it that aspect, but okay, so they're not in the blast zone. No, I don't think the. Okay, see that's where I was gonna have a problem. Like, oh, there's okay. nothing yeah. left in the blast zone. <laughs> <laughs> there were some guys in the comments that's... saying, "Why are they fighting over in a, a tower in an apocalyptic wasteland where everything <laughs> wants to kill you and you could just move there where it's nice?" Hey, folks, we we're with you. <laughs> Wait a minute, so you're, you're just creeping up while that walker's coming at you? I don't think that's a good strategy, bro. Oh, okay, so you he, might be handy. He, he's trained way better than Arno was and his men. Whoa, who's uh, this? Hands up! Is this going to be one of our heroes? Who the hell are you? Uh, can't that dad kind of looks like uh, this. Oh, I'm dead. She can go. Oh, oh. Take your mask off. Okay, it's yeah, Charlie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what did she learn to? Yeah. I got separated from my group. All right. I mean, I was just looking for food, water. Mm-hmm. I don't separated. I don't believe you. John. Howdy, Charlie. She was with us when we tried to stop Teddy. <laughs> Mother. <laughs> Teddy. <laughs> Wait, John. It'll be okay, kid. Just stay calm. I'm thinking Charlie is a little too resourceful to get captured this easily. You know, at least we're involving some other peeps. So yep. that's, that's good. I like seeing the bigger group, not so much of a bottle episode, which is nice. There's a time and place for bottle episodes, mm. just not every single episode. <laughs> well, I've been looking for a way into this place for a while now. I want to live here. Why not just use a call box? Lies. <laughs> I know everything about Victor's former allies. That's why I was gonna sink in. Do what? Live between the walls? Look, I knew that it was the only way that I could be a part of this. So Ali now can just start questioning? <laughs> Thought he'd have to prove himself yeah. a little bit more. On the sub, the computers, when the emergency power's on, you can see what day it is. I looked, I'll be 13 this week. I was so young when everything changed. One fight, after another fight. <laughs> True. We have a problem in the infirmary. Huh. Garcia, what happened? That place was cruel dead. Is he missing There's an arm? radiation oh. How do you know that? We, uh, Lenny we James directed this one. So they did say Lenny was going to direct some episode, and I'm, all right. I'm watching you, Lenny. Yep. <clears throat> I'm already more invested. I feel like we're seeing a lot of the story through Keep Ali's moving. eyes right Howard now. Howard wants you in the holding mm -hmm. room as soon as possible. They're putting a lot of focus on this <laughs> dude. 
not going to end up. See, this is what I mean. They, they, we said it last week. Yep. So you're telling me that you want to go out there. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> what the hell was that? Garcia jumped. Triple Lindy off the ledge. <laughs> Jeez. The Triple Lindy. Shout out to Thornton Mellon. He probably just didn't want to suffer anymore. He was sick. He had radiation poisoning. I thought this place was safe. It is. And how did that happen? It Happened just out there. I'm a scout. Well, what was he scouting for? Parts. Our elevators haven't worked since we were attacked. I mean, what if I can get them for you? Are you kidding me? Look what happened to the other scouts. None of them have Charlie's skills, ones that allow her to sneak in and out of places undetected. You can't be serious. She volunteered. <laughs> she volunteered. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised this guy's letting them question his authority as much as they are. You do this, you're in. Okay. So what we need is 500 feet of steel cable. <laughs> it's not about the elevator. What's it about? Finding out why Charlie's really here. She wants to live here. And that very well might be true, but we need to consider the possibility it might not be. Look, things like this are never easy. I get that. It's what separates the caterpillars from the butterflies. He's... It was a bad line. <laughs> he's <laughs> really bad line. He's going to become something else, and I'm thinking it's... Uh... <laughs> well, I started off at like... 99.9% sure he was going to be done. Yeah. Ali, that is. Now I'm kind of wavering to about 92% that he's really? going to be off. Oh, I'm, 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 it's my 92% he's still off, but it's kind of dropped a little bit because they're putting a focus on him. Yeah. So I'm still there. I'm thinking he's a goner. I'm trying not to be so cynical. I do like the show, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Arnie's. They see us. They may try to use us against Strand. That's Arno, but I like saying Arnie. Play a game? You've never bowled before? Don't move. <laughs> well, I mean, hide. That was just that was, Uh, Okay. We'll roll with it. Yeah. <clears throat> well, we've already through. seen they're terrible at searching places. <laughs> I used to live nearby. I had a couple robberies. Okay. Touche. They're just outside. You're going to knock over some pins? <laughs> yes. Dave, come yeah, on. Help me out spin here. Arnold's group kind of showed us in the last episode. <laughs> I know. They're, <laughs> they're not top-notch guys. So I'm going to want to bend your knees and face ah, towards the pins. I know this pins. move. He's done. <laughs> Finished. He's 100% <laughs> done. <laughs> <laughs> of course <laughs> over the line mark at zero Ali oh I wonder if that's his family members maybe a mix of family and friends yeah <clears throat> no, oh no. there you go who's Muhammad he was my dad Muhammad and Ali uh, was he in the military God, Charlie just nonstop with the questions. <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> well, she is 13. That's true. Were you with him until the end? Yeah. I think she's trying to get information on Ali to kind of twist and bend him to her needs. I'm coming with you. Look, it's better if I go alone. Anything happens, I'll be on channel four, okay? You know, after seeing this a little bit now, I get total like selena kyle vibes like cap yeah that's a good call with her right now yep stay tuned for the batman reaction Ooh, what we... <laughs> oh, ah! oh. <laughs> arno's crew caught up to him they saw the horse what about your friend she doesn't know anything move <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wasn't even ready for it <laughs> Uh, I don't know why that's funny. It just is. <laughs> like it was just a wide open shot. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Suck him in the guts. <laughs> You're right. Like he's going to do the Andrea like did to the governor. Yeah, he, he can hear him. Hide behind the door. But now he's kind of trapped. So now he has to. Yeah, but they're going to do some munch and he'll be able to get in. Come on, Ali. Do this wrong. Oh, yeah, it's, it's peace. 
Well, good call in the Andrea spot. Yeah. This pops. The way he's acting, I think it might be. Oh, he's oh that got, one is juicy, yeah, too. Yeah, he's got the radiation. Why would you? I get it. You got to save him. But at the same time, it's like, kind of got to be careful where that blood's going. Yeah. Where's your mask? I lost it in the fight. One of them grabbed onto my mask while I was closing the door, and I'm not going in after it. I was careful. Okay, so this whole time she's been this crafty on this show. Yeah. And they're just now tapping into showing all her potential. I've been riding elevators my whole life. I didn't know they had a key like that. Oh, for maintenance, yeah. Oh, you mean like she did that, that she would know what to do. I didn't tell you the truth. About what? Morgan sent me. I'm supposed to turn off the beacon on the roof tonight. Clear out the walkers so they can get Grace and the baby out. Howard was right about you. You made me believe you. You made me help you. When Strand finds out about this... He won't! Of course he will! Because I'm not going to go through with it. Oh, yeah? I'm serious. All right, you copy? We're about to head out. You didn't give us a list. Did you find out what I asked? Yes. I did. Ali, what are you doing? Protecting the tower. Just locking what? her in the elevator? You've done this before, right? You'll be fine. Ali! <laughs> <laughs> wow. He had the I, balls to do it. I thought it would go the other way around where he would get locked in there. She would be up to something. Wow. I'm actually impressed. Mm -hmm. I don't understand why you're doing this. Just please come back. I'm going to die. Back away from the door. Yeah. Charlie. Yeah, I got the board. Come back now. Just you? Just me. And we, we don't have to get stuck in the middle. It's like when Rick and Shane were looking at the security guards on the ground in season two. Mm-hmm. Well, obviously, he's coming back for her at this point now. He's done way too much thinking. Yeah. Don't open dead inside. Don't you guys use a little caution with these nuke zombies? <laughs> Everyone's a marksman on yeah. the show, too. <laughs> Headshots, no problem. I told you I was with my dad until the end. When he got sick, I, I left him. I couldn't see him like that. Dang, dude. Kind of cold. Yeah. Oh, he's a goner for sure. You said you didn't want to run away alone. What about Strand and Howard? I'm not afraid of them. No, he's not afraid of them. Oh, this kid. He's so done. <laughs> that kiss confirms it. He's gone. The No ninja walker. No. Kind of surprised. See, I can't tell if she really likes him, though. Like, you could tell he really likes her. But I can't yeah. tell if she's... Oh, here it comes. Until we find They're not better. showing her for a reason, Dave. Here it comes. Charlie? What, what the hell? What? Charlie. Mr. Dory. What is going on? You copy? You're fine one second and then... Interesting. I like the twist. But yeah, what the hell happened to her? Dory, wake up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, would you say something? <laughs> she was exposed to radiation. No, it's not possible. It must have happened when she was in that building. He was in there too, though. Okay, she told me she was careful. Sometimes that's not enough. I don't believe it. I think this whole thing's a work, and they're in on it. Given the amount of exposure she's had, she should make the most of everything. I'm so sorry, Ollie. I just think I got OG say, crew uh, is up to something. Yeah, has to be. Just has to be. Man, I got to... They got me all twisted up on this one. I, I want to say it's a 50-50 for me if it's uh she's doing a work here yeah. and they're in on it or what here. Morgan didn't send her. She was telling us the truth. I'll see to it she's escorted out in the morning. She's sick. She's sick because that's what the world out there has to offer. It's <laughs> your fault. <laughs> she wanted to live there. I think you can safely assume that tomorrow will be your first official day as Ranger. All right, so. All right, he's in the crew. <laughs> You're in, kid. <laughs> for now. <laughs> yeah, for now. Is it red on her forehead? I don't, can't tell if it's that or just the light. Dude. Radiation? <laughs> yeah, she's <laughs> she's got some redness on her arms and stuff, but. Your eyes closed. No peeking. I will say, folks, for my personal opinion here, this is much better than episode nine. <laughs> just the way it's got me guessing and everything. Yeah. Happy birthday, Charlie. 
It's beautiful. This is pretty ballsy considering Harold. Yeah. Oh, boy. What are we... Oh, dude, she's toast. Did you see that on her forehead? Yeah. Something that's beautiful but. deserves to live. Well, if she was exposed, then he's easily exposed. Yeah, at least a little bit. What are we What are we doing here, Dave? Yeah. Uh, Romeo Juliet, I guess. I don't know. I'm supposed to turn off that light. I need to find a way to tell him what's going on. <laughs> she's in makeup. It might be. Oh, no, she can't do it. She's going to get him to do it. Yeah. He's going to do it. And he's going to get caught. And he's going to get tossed off the building. That's my prediction, Dave. This has been an enjoyable episode. I'll give it that. Yeah, it, much better than episode nine. I don't know where the story's going. <laughs> you are <laughs> so stupid. You saw him the light, and then what? Okay, they want this place to change, and that can't happen with Strand. It's the only way. No. Oh, yeah, he's done. No! no. Don't do it, please. Oh, ninety-nine <laughs> percent. What do you mean, no? Zoe, he watched. Just watched a ball. He just went <laughs> screaming. <laughs> oh. oh, wow. You killed him! No, you Charlie, him. you did. Just back off unless you want to join him. He attacked me! I'm just trying to protect this place from those who are trying to undermine it. And if you want this tower to last, I suggest you do the same. He's right, Jim. I lost everything to that inhospitable world out there. You mean your son? Ooh. Because he would be ashamed if he saw this. Oh! If today proved anything. If you lay one hand on her, I will kill you myself. He needs me more than he needs you. If anyone gets injured, he'll have no one oh, to June help with the power this play. Place I will like it. Fall. Charlie stays with me under my care. Why? <laughs> power <laughs> card in your face. <laughs> For now, anyway. What the hell is that about? I had to say it, June. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> there we go. Anyone can listen to reason. They just need the right voice telling it to them. Now it's got to be me. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It should be funny that that dude got tossed, but, <laughs> but the way they did, like the way they did it, <laughs> she was just uh, all smiles. And, <laughs> <laughs> no matter how much time you have left, you will live to see Strand go down. I will do everything I can to make sure that happens. Oh no, the writing's on the wall for June. Yeah. Oh no. Thank you. And that's Man, it. And that's it. Wow. <laughs> All right, Diamond Dave. <laughs> there we go. Much more entertaining this one it was. It was much more entertaining. I'm just concerned that I'm not sure we had the reactions that was intended. We were both just <laughs> laughing hysterically when Ali got tossed off the tower. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, guys. I know that was supposed to be, you know, like an oh my God moment or... <laughs> Anything but laughter, but the way they had that set up was kind of funny yeah. for us. That's called immaturity. We'll we'll chalk it up to immaturity on I that guess. one. <clears throat> now, what I will say is, while this episode was more entertaining, you know, guys, I thought television time was valuable, and we just burned a whole episode on a teenage love story that it only it propelled. slowly, slowly, just a little bit advanced the story. Um, and I'm just not sure that it was really worth the payoff to, to invest all that in it, you know? Um, they did, okay, so to, to your point yeah. there, they did back-to-back -back episodes of we're going to invest into two characters. Yep, brand new. And then just end them. Now, yeah. uh, we said in episode, or last episode reaction, they do that way too often, and they need to kind of stop doing that. Either give the characters some couple episode arc here yeah. or just we've seen this too many times it's now. Just so it's so stop. predictable it's yeah, so predictable stop. now every time you see the character it's <laughs> like, like ah, it gone it's a punchline yeah and now it, i'm sure all you folks have been saying the same thing when you see a new character now come on it's going to be like oh yep they're done mm -hmm. and then you actually be surprised that they actually lasted one episode yeah and <laughs> you know we saw this a lot in the episode before where we both didn't know which way they were going. Is <laughs> is it a dream? Is it not? Is 
Is Charlie just pretending to be who she is and she really has ulterior motives? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Back and forth sort of thing. I think we both kind of knew uh, where it was headed. And uh, just a, an odd episode, I, I thought, to to burn this kind of TV time on a, on a storyline like this. Teenage love story. In the end, Charlie just got this poor guy to do her bidding and... He paid uh, the. Uh, let that be a lesson <laughs> to you, boys, in the apocalypse. <laughs> Man, he sure did pay pay the price in that one. Yeah. I will say though, it was actually more entertaining. I mean, we have said that it was yeah. more entertaining than the mid season opener. Yes, uh, it did keep us at least me guessing quite a bit. I don't know about you folks at home, but it was nice to have that, you know, ping pong. Like, all right, yep. this is what's happening. No, nope, that's not. This is what's going to happen. No, nope. but essentially, yes, Ali was the. Uh, he took, kind of took us on the, he, the ride. Right. He was yeah. the guy, the the lead in this one to propel, which I don't know if they needed to burn a whole episode in this way, but they did it. So we're just going to roll with it to basically propel June, which now I'm worried about because June took it a little too personally mm-hmm. of, you know, hey, I sent Charlie mm-hmm. out there, but Charlie was all about it too, June. So yeah, she made her choice. Yeah. And now I'm a little worried that June's going to get offed because she's going to try to stick up or, or deliver that debt now debt to Charlie. So yeah. I really hope I'm wrong on that. But again, the way the writers have been, it's like, all right, so here we go. This one's going to be casualty now. And I feel like now June just, I'll go be casually too. <laughs> Silver platter. Ah, I hope I'm wrong yeah. on that. But now, and Charlie real quick, I was not 100% sure that was real. Oh, I until, thought she was faking the whole way. <laughs> yeah, I thought June was just selling the tears and everything, yeah. and then she comes out with all these rashes. It's like, oh, it is real. And even then, I still wasn't sure. I'm like, I oh, put a little <laughs> iodine on her, you know? <laughs> Hide that. It, it was kind of cool in this episode, again, to see our heroes go out on a run and be in a different location, and I'm glad that we finally got rid of the, the Mad Max-type filter that, yes. that they've been having Thank forever. Goodness. And, uh, you know, I know a lot of you guys in the comments were kind of itching for that as well. So that was refreshing to see. Yeah. So, folks, uh, let's hear your thoughts on this. Uh, We definitely heard you loud and clear on episode nine. (laughs) The majority did not like it. I am interested now to see if you guys actually like this one or dislike this one. You can totally see both perspectives if you did or didn't. So let's get in the comments. Let's chat this one out. Yeah, I mean, I think if you were to take this episode as a standalone, it's perfectly fine and entertaining, mm-hmm. but does it advance our story? That's the question I have for you guys. If it did, it's super duper slow. <laughs> <laughs> guys, this has been Bad Medicine. That's Diamond Dave. I'm Mason Quinn. We will see you on the next Fear the Walking Dead.